Hello, welcome back. Mojo Rojo Canario. You heard me. Mojo Rojo Canario. Mojo Rojo Canario is a red dip from the Canary Islands. Typically it's used for fish, but you can use it for all the things that you're dipping with. And let's say that you like to dip plantains and you want to use a red mojo, you can use this one. Now there are two ways of doing this. You can do it hot or you can do it mild. The one I'm preparing today is hot. And it's very easy to make, it's deliciously hot. To the point that I try with some fish and I boil the fish, didn't put salt, no nothing. And I use this hot um, mojo rojo canario and the flavor was pretty damn good. If you can stand spicy hot food, you know. So go nowhere. Let's have some fun. Subscribe. Let's create. So for the mojo rojo canario or the red mojo from Canary Islands, um, there are a couple ways of doing this. Actually, there are different ways, but the important ingredient here is the cumin. The cumin has to be grainy because you're going to smash it here using a smasher and this one is kind of small i'm going to try to use that one but if not i have to use my wooden one which is bigger but i'm going to do some of the work using this um you're also going to need some of the uh parpica and i'm going to use the regular parpica not hot not spicy just regular no even smoke and garlic has to be there and this is optional if you want it spicy, if you want it spicy, meaning a little bit hot, you can use some red peppers of your choice and using habaneros and leaving the seeds. And, and as an optional thing, I'm going to use some fresh oregano too because I like that taste, that smell. And when it comes to the red pepper, in Canary Islands, sometimes they use the dry one but I can find it fresh. We have a lot of farms nearby, so I'm going fresh. Um, you're going to need a tiny bit of oil. I'm going to go with a Spanish one. It happened to be this brand, you know? But it's from Andalusia, Spain, so I'm going to stick Spanish. And you're going to use some uh, balsamic vinegar. And practically, uh, if you're washing your carbs and stuff like that, you're going to use just a tiny bit of balsamic vinegar. Uh, one tablespoon equals four grams of carbs. I might stick to that one tablespoon or maybe even less. And that's pretty much it for now. So let's start with the common. And the amount is going to depend on how much sauce you're preparing. And this is very simple, you just put in pressure. You're not heating, you just put in some pressure. You're making it into some sort of powder. But the smell is fantastic. And you continue doing this until you know. You get into some sort of semi uh, powdery, if you can. So it's almost there, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's like, see how powdery it is. It went from grainy to somewhat powdery, somewhat. Unfortunately, I prefer this hard one, but it's so small that I might not be able to do everything here. But I'm going to try. So 
So I'm going to put, um, let's put some of the garlic. This is going to be a little bit challenging. And I don't hit any, I just put in pressure. And put another piece. I hit it a little bit just to, and actually, you know what? Instead of messing around like that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make things simpler. I'm going to soften it a little bit, this garlic. If you had it too smash while well, using, you know, kind of smash it a little bit. You can use a knife, whatever. So now it's easier to do what I need to do. And I might have to switch that to the bigger uh, pilon. I call them pilon. Because this is becoming pain in the butt. So let me do that. Going to transfer to this big one. It's going to be hard to see. So I transfer to a bigger one. I had the garlic. Going to put another piece of garlic. And I'm going to add the oregano. Let me smash a little bit. The thing with this one, you actually have to hit it because it's wood. And then put the pressure you need to put. See? And now it comes the peppers. I pretty much do. Let me move the camera a little bit. The price and pretty much do the same. And you have to make sure this stuff is mixed together somewhat. Soften it. And if you're using wood and you might have to heat it, you know. But you get the point. You continue doing this until this is softened. See? So I had to smash this one because this is wooden. If I was using my ceramic one, and if it was bigger, you just squeeze it together. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the parpica, and I have here about maybe a tablespoon. Mix things up a little bit. And now comes the oil. And the amount is going to depend how much you're going to be serving. Let me do, let me put three tablespoons. And just start mixing things up. Looking pretty, huh? See? And now we're going to add the balsamic oil. And the this one is H, and I use the Mod Modena style, which is the one I prefer. I couldn't find any Spanier one, so I had to go with Italian, but it doesn't matter. And I'm going to put a little bit less than the uh, tablespoons, just to keep it around four grams. 
Ooh, this smells so good. And you mix things up. And once again, I want to show you how that red mojito, red mojo looks. Yep. It's ready, I just need to transfer it. <laughs> to transfer out. 